Okay, team, I got a great syllable type question for you. I want you to try and read this one over. And, and all I'm going to ask you to do as you read this one over, this is from the Foundations of Reading 190 test, is as you read it over, I just want you to mark how many times you hear the word syllable, you know, in the question or a or, or reference to a, a closed syllable or an open syllable or a silent E syllable, okay? So as you as you read it, see how many times this language is used in the question, okay? All right, take two minutes and read this to yourself, okay? Go ahead, do that now. Pause me and read the question, go. Unpause, or if you haven't uh, paused me, pause me now. <sighs> I hope you're having fun. I, you know what? To be honest with you, the first times I was teaching, I had been teaching for a long time, a long time, until someone walked up to me and, and said, you know, VCCVV, CVC, VCE. And I said, who, who do what a weedy? I don't know what you're talking about. So, you know, if you're learning this for the first time, awesome, groovy. Uh, you should be thrilled to learn about closed and open and silent syllables. I mean, I'd be thrilled. I wish someone taught me early on. So, so uh, you should definitely have these, um, you should have these, no, be able to spot these. So uh, this question clearly uses a lot of this language, right? So I'll just read it and we'll see how many times this language appears in the question. It says here, a teacher is working with a group of learners who exhibit the following characteristics. Now, they don't tell us the grade. They don't tell us anything about the learner outside that it's just a learner. So it really could be anyone. The learner could be a, a first grader, it could be a ninth grader. It could be an adult, we don't know. The student can accurately read single syllable words. Oh, great, let me circle that. Single syllable words. Uh, by the way, um, all these things here, all these words, a lot of the words that we've done so far, single syllable word, right? All these are single syllable word. Uh, these are all single syllable words, right? So, so uh, single syllable words, single syllable words, single syllable words. They are a lot of all these rules are found in single syllable words, right? So let's go back, back to the question. They're working with a reader. Uh, the re student can accurately read single syllable words that uh, that feature um, closed, open, and silent e syllables. So closed, what's that? That's um, vowel consonant, open, that is consonant vowel, and silent E, that is our vowel consonant magic E. And vowel teams, okay, that's great. So that's when we have uh, two vowels, the first one's long, the second one is kind of silent, right? I'll just, I'll just leave it blank, okay? That make a long vowel sound, uh, we knew that, we knew that, vowel teams, we have two vowels, uh, that make the first vowel silent, the second one's short. Okay, fine. Um, this, we, we, we have words for all these, right? Like um, closed syllable words could be like uh, any type of CVC word like cat, right? Or uh, open syllable words could be like, uh, um, if it's a single syllable word, it would be like uh, no, right? Or, or we, we, we had a whole bunch of them. No, or... Where, where's uh, or um, where's the list of the amazing list of, of those words or we right or me these th th those are all single syllable um, open syllable words or VCE words like move okay or uh, vowel team words with a the, it's a long vowel like uh, like rain okay so the student can get these types of words. The student can accurately read multi-syllable words that feature uh, closed and open syllables. So they can do multi-syllable words with closed and open syllables. So that would be like words like, um, like rabbit, right? Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, and uh, spider, right? Where there's a vowel, consonant, vowel, yes? Okay. Which of the following sets of words including includes appropriate types of syllables? Let me read that again. Which of the following sets of words includes appropriate types of syllables to provide the student with practice 
applying their knowledge of syllable types to read decodable multisyllable words. Okay, so we want to look for which one of these words um, would be good practice for multisyllable words um, that would have some of these 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 patterns in it. Is that right? And by the way, if you haven't realized this is a syllable type question, you should read it again. And you should spot just how many times it says the word syllable. Let's just count. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, four, uh, five, six, seven. Did I get them? So clearly, uh, your friend here are syllable types and syllable patterns, right? Okay, so we're looking for ones that have the patterns, these patterns here. Now notice, um, it did not, these words right here, this is a what? Let's look at this. These are all what? These are all LE words, right? That's this one, that's this one right here. Let me go back. It didn't say that they had this constant LE words, right? It didn't say that they had mastered these yet, yes? Uh, so guess what? That one's out because that's not one of the ones that they've mentioned in this one here. So we could cross that one off. Um, how about these ones right here? Ow, ow, so, uh, uh, untry, uh, oi, oi. So, uh, ow, ow, so, and oi, those are diphthongs, right? This is, uh, the, that is a ow, ow movement in my mouth. Oi, a bo oi movement in my mouth. That's a diphthong. Ka untry. Uh, that's a that's a funny one because it's the U sound you hear. Okay. So these ones here with the diphthong and that that special one there, that's something that the student hasn't done. So I'll just write down uh, the diphthong and, and that one, that one's out too. Does everyone agree? Okay, so it's down to A or D. A or D. Um, now, uh, healthy, pleasant. So now these ones right here, treadmill, healthy, pleasant. Notice that these are, um, they're vowel diagraphs, right? But it's not a vowel team, meaning that the first vowel is not long, right? And it says here that that student, um, they're not, it says here that they're, they're it says here, what says, says uh, which of the following sets of words includes appropriate types of syllables to provide the student with practice, applying their knowledge of syllable types to, to read. Okay, so, so blah, 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 that's fine. It says, um, it doesn't say that they can do um, vowel, uh, this type of uh, vowel diagraph, right? I'm sorry. And, and the uh, syllable, is, uh, I mean, it's it doesn't tell us that they can't do that. Okay, let's look at the answer. Let's look at the answer. Uh, a D, look at these words here. Reveal, right? This has got, this first one is an open syllable, right? It's a uh, constant vowel. Um, so we have that open, so that's a long E. They could do that. Says that they can do that here. They, they're, they're okay with open syllables. And reveal, it's got that vowel diagraph, that vowel team. Uh, combine, combine, we have that um, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, right? And it has that uh, V, C, E word in it. Explain, explain, we have that vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. We can divide it there. And it's got that vowel team. Hey, guess what? I thought when I looked at this the first time it was kind of hard to, okay? So team, there's a whole bunch of vocab here that you need to practice, all right? And I'm hoping that um, you can look at D and you can spot all these rules that are being described here in D. And then you can also look at uh, A and see that there's some things that aren't described here and, and, and same with B and same with C that aren't described in the list of uh, things the student is able to do, okay? All right, great question, team. This is from this letter D. This is from this test here. And look at all the vocab, open syllables, closed syllables, silent E syllables, uh, single syllables, multi-syllable words. 
There should have also been bowel team here. Okay, lots of great stuff here, okay? So study it, all right? All right, good push question. Let's do an.